A quick peek into the toilet bowl can reveal a lot about your health. Of course you've heard the color of your pee can help you figure out how hydrated you are. But that's not the only thing your pee can tell you. Urine color can vary. And while those changes are usually nothing to worry about, sometimes a shift in the hue of your pee can signal that something's wrong. We asked Kathan Badani, Vice Chair of Urology at Mount Sinai, to explain the rainbow of possible pee colors. If you think of urine, it's like a thermometer for the body. Not that it tells you the temperature, but it tells you what's going on inside the body. The urine is what the kidneys make when they filter your blood. And so if you have things like fluid shifts, so if you're dehydrated or if you're well hydrated, right, the urine color will vary based on how much fluid there is in your bloodstream and how much filtering your kidney is doing. So what is pee supposed to look like? There isn't one exact hue that's considered the gold standard of normal urine, but your pee should fall somewhere on the yellow spectrum. Urine gets its yellow color from urobilin, also known as urochrome, a compound excreted by your kidneys, the organs that filter your blood and produce pee. Your urine can contain traces of thousands of different substances mixed in with plenty of water. In general, the more water you drink, the clearer your pee will look because you're diluting the other substances coming out of your kidneys. If you guzzle lots of water and your pee is completely clear, you can probably safely cut back on your fluid intake a bit. After all, it's rare but possible to actually drink too much water. If your pee is the color of pale straw or looks like a transparent shade of yellow, that's also a good indication that you're probably well hydrated. Straw colored is like the, the good urine. And when it's very diluted from water, then you don't really see the yellow, it just looks very clear. If you go to the bathroom after you drink a lot of water or Gatorade or even, even liquor like caffeine and alcohol or diuretics, they make you create more urine. You'll notice the urine is very clear, very white. It's just because it's getting rid of all that extra fluid. Now, if you see a darker shade of yellow in the bowl or a different color altogether, it could be a sign of trouble. Here's what to watch out for. If your pee is dark yellow, like amber or honey, or dark orange, you might not be consuming enough water. Kidney filters blood, right? And it filters blood for a couple of things. It regulates how much water is in your body and in your bloodstream. On the flip side, if you're dehydrated, if your body's saying, we need more water, we need more fluid, what it does is it actually sucks water back into your body from the kidney. So urine is made, and then there's a mechanism that says we need actually all the water we can get, and it will actually take the water out of the urine and put it back into your bloodstream. So what you're left with is urine that has much less water content in it. And so those solutes, what we call them, the, the electrolytes and the proteins and all the stuff that could be in urine, is highly concentrated and it changes the color of it. Additional signs of dehydration can include fatigue, chills, bad breath, sugar cravings, or muscle cramps. First, try upping your water intake. Doctors recommend 1.5 to 2 liters of water daily in addition to other fluids. If that doesn't help, schedule an appointment with your doctor to rule out any other issues. Keep in mind, too, that certain medications can turn your pee dark yellow or orange. Examples include phenazopyridine, a treatment for pain for a urinary tract infection, or UTI, and sulfasalazine, a treatment for ulcerative colitis. If your pee looks dark brown like black tea, brown ale, or cola, ask yourself, did I recently eat rhubarb, fava beans, or aloe? These foods can lend your pee a brownish hue. However, dark brown urine can also be a sign of severe dehydration, past the stages of dark yellow or orange pee. If you're so dehydrated that your urine is turning brown, that's bad. I mean, that's really your body screaming for more fluids, and, and that could actually be very damaging to your kidneys. You know, when you don't have enough water to hydrate and get the kidneys going, that, that multiple organs are affected by that. Another possibility is related to your medical history. If you've recently undergone a urologic procedure, the brown you're seeing could be the result of blood slowly dissolving in your urine. In addition, some antibiotics, laxatives, and other medications can turn your pee brown. Dark brown pee can also be an indication of something more serious that warrants attention from a medical provider, though. It can be a symptom of rhabdomyolysis, 
a dangerous condition in which muscles break down. Other symptoms can include muscle cramps and severe pains and feeling weak or tired after a muscle injury or extreme exercise. Another possible concern has to do with your liver. When you have poor liver function, extra bilirubin, a pigmented component of bile, can end up in your urine, turning it a darker hue. And if you have a history of melanoma, definitely keep an eye out for brown-tinged urine, which can be a sign that the cancer is progressing. If you're noticing dark brown pee regularly, schedule an appointment with your doctor. If your urine has a pink or red tinge, you might be able to blame something you ate, like blueberries, beets, or rhubarb. Yes, rhubarb strikes again. And as with other suspicious pea colors, medications are a potential culprit. For example, the antibiotic rifampin has been known to turn a toilet bowl a shade of rouge. However, if you aren't taking new medications or filling your plate with red or purple-hued foods, it could be a tint of blood that's making your pee pink. Make an appointment with your doctor to rule out a UTI, kidney stones, or another condition. The thing to keep in mind that can fool people sometimes is that when you look in the toilet and you see blood, that could also come from other places, which could be nothing. It could just mean that you wipe too hard or something like that. But if it's dark red, burgundy, you know, that, that very Cabernet wine color, uh, that's, that's blood. That needs to be investigated. If you see blue or green in your toilet, you might be tempted to panic. Fortunately, these scary looking urine colors often have innocuous explanations. Green or blue dye in something you ate could be the cause of your cool tone tingles. Asparagus can also lend a green tinge to pee, in addition to its infamous smell. Several medications, from heartburn reducers to muscle relaxers, can also make your pee blue or green. There are some distinctive urinary um, urine infections that cause your urine to turn green. They're, they're not common infections, uh, but fungus and yeast can cause the urine to look a greenish hint. Um, there's a bacteria called Pseudomonas, which can be found in the urine and that can give it a green hue. Um, and usually there's an odor and, a, and other signs of infection, right? Burning, pain, fevers, other things. Rarely, blue or green urine can be a sign of familial hypocalceric hypercalcemia, a rare genetic disorder. Going to Google and looking up pea color, I highly recommend against it. Urinary color is just not specific enough to tell you enough about what's going on. It's, it's, it's enough to worry you for no reason. So if you have other symptoms and you have a change in your pea quality, then you can ask a healthcare professional to look into it. But if it's just a normal variation of yellow, morning, evening, next day, that's normal. The bottom line is that when it comes to your pee, a mellow shade of yellow is best. Sometimes your diet or medication can change things up, and occasionally something more serious is going on. If you're concerned about what you see before you flush, contact your healthcare provider.